Okay, picture this. You're browsing online one day and you come across a video of none other than Gandhi breakdancing in the streets of Brooklyn. Not too suspicious, right? Other than the fact that Gandhi's been dead for like 70 years, dude. And I'm almost certain he didn't know how to breakdance. So how does this video exist? Because it basically looks hyper-realistic. Well, if by chance you actually do find a video like this in the future, it was probably created using OpenAI's new Sora AI, which basically lets you make hyper-realistic AI videos using nothing but a description of the video that you gave it. Now, I basically saw like, I think I saw one of these videos. The one that I saw was of a cat and a chick just laying in bed, just chilling in bed. And buddy, I, I couldn't tell the difference. That looked like a genuine video to me. <laughs> but let's just go ahead and let's take a look at a couple of these, dude. I don't want to freak you guys out, but remember that these were only created using prompts. New York City submerged like Atlantis. A Chinese Lunar Year celebration. Dude, that's scary realistic. What? <laughs> Borneo Wildlife on the... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but damn. Those look like real birds. This is the video that I saw. This is the cat and the girl in the bed. There's no way that's so insane, dude. A flock of paper airplanes. You gotta be shitting me. I think you guys pretty much understand the gist of this. A large orange octopus is seen resting on the bottom of the ocean floor. Damn, that is descriptive. I'm not even gonna read all that, bro. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Reflections on the window of a train traveling. Dude, it, it, it has the reflections and everything is so correct. The lighting. This one's really scary, dude. That's terrifying because I have a feeling that the CGI community is going to be pressing this Sora AI super hard, dude. They're either going to try and regulate it or we're just going to have a full on frenzy in the industry. And there are a lot of people that are about to get really good at writing prompts. <laughs> This actually poses a pretty big threat when it comes to 3D generalists, animators, the whole nine yards, dude. Everybody involved in the whole CGI pipeline, they're probably worrying right now because of this Sora AI. They make up such a large portion of production for films, video games, TV. And essentially what's happening right now is we got an AI that can do every single person's job in that pipeline with just one person writing a prompt. Now, obviously it's not to that extent yet. I don't think that this AI is that good, but like, holy shit, it literally created a hyper-realistic video of a chick in Tokyo riding the train and you can see her and other passengers in the reflection of the window. It is just mind boggling to me that this AI can do that. And let's not even talk about that cat, bro. You could literally see every strand of hair on that cat. And not only is this a scary thing for people involved in CGI and pretty much any type of video creation as it pertains to content. I'm not sure if you guys heard the other day, but there was an extremely controversial thing in the news about T-Swift and some AI generated images. If you thought that those images were bad, all right, and that was controversial, this Sora AI stuff could be a hundred times worse. Imagine that Taylor Swift controversy, but instead of images, it was videos, hyper-realistic ones. That's pretty damn terrifying, dude. I don't know about you guys, but AI is progressing so fast. This shit is scary. It could honestly, it could go even further than that. People could start using this for propaganda reasons. If you want to create a video that's going to stir some things up politically, and you post that online, I feel like controversies could pop up pretty frequently if regular everyday people get a hold of this video generation AI. No. Stuff's getting real, my guys. The future is upon us. Whether or not it's going to be that dystopian one or we're going to get our shit figured out has yet to be seen. Now, I don't want to spend this whole video shitting on Sora AI. It is extremely cool. All right, don't get me wrong. But in my opinion, this poses a massive risk, a lot more risk than good currently. This may not turn out to be that that huge of a deal. I have a feeling that in a way, even if AI does absolutely blow up and kind of replace content creators, <laughs> I'm ultimately not that worried because I think that content created by an actual person who thought about how to make it every step of the way definitely trumps something that a machine created in like one second. So I think there's going to continue to be a market for content that's made by actual people. Anyways, boys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have an amazing weekend, and I will see you guys on the next one.